The Lion's Journey, From Heartbreak to Hope In the heart of the African savanna, there lived a magnificent lion named Kumba. Kumba was the king of the jungle, feared and respected by all who lived in his domain. His roar echoed across the plains, striking fear into the hearts of all who heard it. But despite his fearsome reputation, Kumba was a lonely lion. He had no mate and no cubs to play with. He spent most of his days wandering the vast savanna, hunting for food and seeking the company of other lions. One day, Kumba came across a group of lionesses, lounging in the shade of a large baobab tree. They were young and playful, and Kumba was immediately drawn to their energy and vitality. He approached them cautiously, his heart racing with excitement. The lionesses greeted him warmly, and Kumba soon found himself laughing and playing with them like he had not done in years. As the days passed, Kumba spent more and more time with the lionesses. They went on hunts together, chased each other through the grasslands, and lazed in the sun. Kumba was in heaven. He had found a family, and for the first time in his life, he felt truly happy. But one day, tragedy struck. Kumba's favorite lioness, Nala, fell ill. She grew weaker by the day, until she could barely stand. Kumba was beside himself with grief. He had never felt such pain before. He stayed by Nala's side day and night, hoping against hope that she would recover. But it was not to be. One morning, Kumba woke up to find that Nala had passed away in the night. Kumba was devastated. He roared and cried and refused to leave Nala's side. The other lionesses tried to comfort him, but he was inconsolable. He had lost the love of his life, and he didn't know how to go on. Days turned into weeks, and Kumba's grief showed no signs of abating. He stopped eating and sleeping, and his once mighty roar had become a pitiful whimper. The other lions watched in horror as their once proud king withered away before their eyes. One day, a wise old elephant named Mamba approached Kumba. My friend, he said gently, I know that you are grieving, but you must understand that Nala is gone. You cannot bring her back. You must learn to accept her loss and move on. Kumba looked up at Mamba with tears in his eyes. But how can I move on? He asked. She was everything to me. Without her, I am nothing. Mamba placed his trunk gently on Kumba's shoulder. You are not nothing, my friend, he said. You are still the king of the jungle, and you have a duty to your pride. They need you now more than ever. You must find the strength to carry on, for their sake if not your own. Kumba looked at Mamba for a long moment, then nodded slowly. You're right, he said. I cannot let my grief consume me. I must honor Nala's memory by being the best king I can be. With those words, Kumba rose to his feet and let out a mighty roar. The other lions gathered around him, their eyes shining with hope. Kumba looked at each of them in turn, then turned and strode purposefully into the savannah. The other lions followed him, their spirits lifted by his renewed strength and determination. Kumba knew that his grief would never truly go away. He would always carry a part of Nala with him, always feel her absence. But he also knew that life must go on. He had a duty to his pride, and he was determined to fulfill it to the best of his abilities. Over the following months, Kumba poured his heart and soul into his role as king. He hunted tirelessly for his pride, making sure that they were well fed and safe. He protected them from rival prides and predators, always putting himself in harm's way to ensure their survival. The other lions watched in awe as Kumba transformed into an even more powerful and noble leader than he had ever been before. They saw the pain in his eyes, but they also saw the strength and determination that he had found within himself. And then, one day, something miraculous happened. A new lioness appeared in the savannah. She was beautiful and strong, with a mane that shimmered in the sunlight. Kumba was immediately drawn to her, and the other lions could see the spark of hope in his eyes. Her name was Zara, and she had come from a distant land. Kumba courted her with all the charm and grace that he could muster, and before long, the two of them were inseparable. Zara brought a new energy to Kumba's life. She made him laugh and play like he had not done in years. And, to the joy of the other lions, she soon gave birth to two healthy cubs. Kumba was overjoyed. He had finally found the family that he had always longed for. As the months passed, Kumba's grief for Nala began to fade. He would always cherish her memory, but he had found new love and a new purpose in his life. He was once again the king of the jungle, feared and respected by all who knew him. And so, the story of Kumba the Lion came full circle. From the depths of despair, he had found new hope and new meaning. He had learned that even in the darkest of times, life can still surprise us with unexpected gifts. And he had learned that no matter how great our pain is, we must always find the strength to carry on.